Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Monday, January 2nd, 2024. I pray that as we go to our reading this morning that the Holy Spirit will bless you. I pray that you will be encouraged. I pray that you will be strengthened as you read God and listen God word today. Our reading today comes to us from Psalms 46 reading verses 1 to 11 and it says God is our refuge and strength a very present help in time of trouble verse 2 says therefore will not we fear though the hurt be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea verse 3 Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Selah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. Verse 5 God is in the midst of her she shall not be moved god shall help her and that right early verse 6 the heathen rage the kingdoms were moved he uttered his voice the hurt melt verse 7 the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Verse 8. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he had made in the earth. And verse 9. He maketh war to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in fire. Hmm. What a God. Verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the Edens. I will be exalted in the earth. 11 and last, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. And I say, Amen. Indeed, God is our refuge and our, our present help in time of trouble. And as we think about these words today, May we allow the Holy Spirit to remind us that we have a God that care about us. May we be reminded of how much God loves us. May we take comfort in his wisdom, in his care, and in his everlasting love. I know many of you have gone through the battles in 2023. I know that the road was rough. You got pricked by the thorns. Uh, you got run over by the boulders. But you are still standing. Because God has given you the victory over those circumstances. And I know as you continue to walk with him. As you continue to run this race, race that you will be victorious in the end the bible says a crown of life await those who have finished the race and i know that as you continue on your journey that your journey will be successful as long as you give god control over the situation as the reading says, we need to stand still 
and see the salvation of our God. Because the God of Jacob is our refuge. Right? He is our strength. One writer said, Jehovah Jireh, which means that God is our provider. So it doesn't matter what you may be going through right now. It doesn't matter what your situation is or what your circumstances were in 2023. But just know that with God, you have a future. God can open the floodgates of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there, there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I just want to encourage somebody today. Don't be discouraged. Don't lose hope. Keep pressing on. Keep moving forward. Because one of these days, you will be victorious. God will help you to rise above your circumstances. And you will see that the God that we serve is still alive and still working in our, the affairs of men. God continue to bless you. God continue to keep you as you press forward in 2024. Amen.